and trust when the oceans rise and fall is wrong I will soar
We bless the name of Jesus. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. We're just thankful today for everyone that joined in the word, power in the word. Today, Wednesday at 2 p.m. our new time. Thank you so much for joining Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries, along with Apostle Dr. Faith Walters. So glad you took the time out of your schedule to be here with us and to celebrate Jesus one more time. So glad to be alive, so glad to be breathing, and so glad to have the use of my limbs. I'm not going to take anything for granted in this time. And I'm so grateful to the Lord that you have joined us. And I'm just so in awe of who he is. And I'm telling you, he's just, he just keeps doing bigger and greater things in this atmosphere in spite of what's going on, in spite of what we are experiencing as a people, as a, a, a nation, as a everyone around the globe, in spite of what's happening, he still is still working behind the scenes. So we still got to remember that. We still got to flow in that because if we don't flow in understanding who Jesus is and understanding the power and understanding the level of how he operates, and we get caught up in what's going on around us. We get caught up in on what's on the news and you know different things that you're hearing from all different angles. But we got to keep our minds and our hearts stayed on Him. And the Bible says, "Let our, let our mind be in Christ, that is also in Christ Jesus." So, when your mind is made up and you're focused on who God is, and you are, you are focused on what he desired you to do. You're focused on the purpose and the destiny for your life. And you shouldn't worry about anything. And you should just keep on pushing forward. Keep on blessing the name of Jesus. Because, you know, it, it's through all this. It's, it's only through him that we're going to get through this. Hallelujah. He'll, he's taken us out to take us to, to the next level, what he desires us to be. And before we go into prayer, Holy Spirit of God, I want to, I love to sing, start into our worship, because worship does something to my spirit. And I want to encourage you every time you feel that you're not going to make it, you feel uh, things are going haywire. Things are amiss. Things are not really happening the way it should be. Things are abnormal. I want you to begin to open up your mouth and to give the Lord praise. Because the Bible says in everything, give him thanks. Hallelujah. Everything. Good, bad, and indifferent. Give him thanks. In the good times, praise him. In the, in the negative times, praise him anyhow, because God is good all the time. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. 
with my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise with a heart of thanksgiving i will bless thee O lord i will bless thee O Lord, I will bless thee, O Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come. Come let us adore him. Bow down before him. Worship and adore him, oh, come, come let us adore him, bow down before him, worship and adore him, oh, come, come let us adore him. Bow down before him, worship and adore him. He made you well, he made you well, he made you well, he made you well, he made you well. Let us adore him, bow down before him, worship and adore him. Oh, come, come let us adore him, bow down before him, worship and adore him. He made you well. He made you well. He made you well. He made you well. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify the name of Jesus. We glorify the name of Jesus. You alone are worthy, God. You alone are worthy, Jesus. You alone are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, for the Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, for the 
Lord God Almighty reigns. Holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, you are holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb. Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised is Alpha and Omega we worship mm -hmm. you our Lord you are worthy to be praised we give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You, you are worthy to be praised. We give you The glory we, we worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you. The glory we worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. 
your name Jesus hallelujah hallelujah we magnify the name of Jesus hallelujah we bless your name Jesus you alone are worthy God hallelujah. we thank you Jesus Holy Spirit of God we bless your name hallelujah we magnify your name Jesus hallelujah hallelujah we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Magnify your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift up your name, Jesus. Father, we come before your presence, God. We thank you, Jesus, for your anointing. We thank you, Jesus, for your grace. We thank you, Jesus, that we have come this far by faith, leaning on your lasting arms, God, trusting in your word, God. You have never failed us. We thank you, God, for strength on today, Father. We thank you, God, for those who are here on this fashion, God. Listen to this broadcast, Jesus, and whoever be listening to it in another time, in their private time, God, we thank you for them, Jesus. We thank you, God, for this word reaching out to the masses of people, God, that need a healing and encouragement in their lives, Father. Those who need a touch from you, Jesus, those who need to learn to know that you are are the only one uh, that can solve their situations. Uh, you're the only one can meet their needs, Jesus. Uh, many of them are hurting right now, God. Many of them are crying out uh, in the darkness, God. They are someplace, God, reaching out to you. Uh, and we pray in the name of Jesus right now uh, that you will touch them where they are, God. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, someone is in a dark room right now, God. Some 
Someone is in a dungeon area, Jesus. Someone is in a basement area. Someone's behind locked doors, God. Someone's in a locked room right now, Jesus. We ask you to be there for them, God. Let them know, God, that you answer their prayer. They are calling out for help right now. And we pray in the name of Jesus that you will touch them, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus uh, that the fire of the Holy Ghost will be where they are right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, someone is being abused right now, God. We speak to that abuser right now in the name of Jesus. We speak to the abused right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. Uh, we pray for that child being sexual molested right now, God. Amen. We speak to that molested right now in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus. We pray for that Amen. child right now, God, in the name yes. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That you will touch that child, Father, Amen. all those children, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heal their heart, God. Heal their mind. Heal their spirit, God. Raise them up, oh God, and what you desire them to be. Amen. In the name of Jesus, not for the end me, oh God, put in their spirit, God. But what you put there, Jesus, will, oh God, overcome, oh Lord Jesus, will override, God, the pain that they're experiencing right now, God. We pray in the name of Jesus for human trafficking, God, sex trafficking today, God. Holy Spirit of God, uh, someone is far away from home right now, God. They need to get back home, Jesus. Uh, open up the door, oh God. Uh, open up the way, Jesus. Uh, send help for your sanctuary, God, uh, as they escape from their traffic, uh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, blessed be your name. Holy Spirit of God, pray for these lost souls today, God, that need your touch, Jesus. Amen. They need to know that you're there no matter what, God. Amen. Because without you, God, we are absolutely nothing, Jesus. We are empty without you, God. We are empty vessels, Jesus. And we ask you, God, up their mindset, God, uh, that they will receive of you, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, those, oh God, in the name of Jesus, uh, who are experiencing all kind of illnesses, God, uh, hypertension right now, God, uh, diabetes, Father, diabetes one, diabetes two, every type of diabetes, God, uh, we speak to that issue right now, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every type of cancer, God, uh, brain cancer, God, breast cancer, lung cancer, God, uh, brain, oh God, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, pancreatic cancer, God, uh, Holy Spirit of God, prostate cancer, liver cancer, ovarian cancer, we speak to it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. Bless you, God, that you will deliver deliver them, oh God, from their illness, mm. in the name of Jesus, blessed be your holy name, Amen. we pray against heart disease right now, Holy Spirit of God, touch that heart right now, in the name of Jesus, let it be whole, mm. Father, Holy Spirit of God, we pray, oh God, for that God person, God, who Amen. dealing with kidney issues right now. Kidney failure right now, Jesus. We pray, God, that you heal the kidney, Father. Oh, Lord God, give him a new one, God. Somebody's Ooh. waiting for a kidney right now, Jesus. We ask you, God, that the emergency supply, oh God, will come forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You've been so faithful. Right now, uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, we pray, oh God, for young men, God, uh, that is caught up in gangs right now. Uh, Holy yes, Spirit of God, uh, 
They caught up in drugs, God. Mm -hmm. They selling drugs, Jesus. Oh, let's hear it up, God. And the sex traffic. They're getting high offensive. on drugs, God. Amen. But we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that they get high on Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, because when they get to the high on you, God, Lord Jesus, they don't want to come down over the high. Holy mm. Spirit of God, because Jesus, you are the great deliverer. You are yes. the great healer, God. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, you are the one Jesus Christ that can Hallelujah. help all God through their pain, God. Whatever they desire from you, Jesus, mm -hmm. you can grant them the desire, of God. Because with you, God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Break up the gangs, God, in the name of Jesus. Holy mm -hmm. Spirit of God. Send your disciple, God, wherever they are, Jesus, to infiltrate, oh God, the gangs. Holy Spirit of God, raise the gang leader right now. Save his soul, God. Save her soul, Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, that she be able, he be able, God, to go back in, God, and to bring them out, Jesus. Because uh, when you save the leader, God, uh, when you bring the leader to the next level, God, uh, they are able, God, to see uh, what you've done in their lives. Uh, and they want to know, uh, Holy Spirit, uh, what can I do uh, to get what you have? Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, deliver them right now. Uh, deliver the leaders right now. Uh, in the gang, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord. Lord God, uh, they got the babies, God, uh, born in these gangs, Jesus. Uh, we pray you will cover these babies, God, uh, that these babies, God, uh, will not fulfill the destiny of the gang, God, uh, but Lord Jesus Christ, uh, they will fulfill the destiny, God, uh, of what you put in their heart, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we speak to those, oh God, uh, that even in the womb right now, uh, of those gang babies, God, uh, we pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, as in the womb right now, God, uh, we ask you, God, uh, that you would touch that baby in the womb right now, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, blessed be your holy name, uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, speak to that baby right now. Uh, that's your life, God. Uh, you are turning that baby's life around. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, that baby will come to full fruition, God. Uh, that baby, oh God, will come forth, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, not what happened to those children, God. Uh, Lord God, we speak this word uh, into their spirit right now. Uh, as they in the womb, God, uh, we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you will touch them where they are, God. Uh, all these young women, God, uh, carrying these babies, Jesus, uh, for these gang members, God. Uh, but Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you will save the mothers, God. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, let them realize, God, uh, they need you in their lives, dear Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord Jesus, uh, we pray they put down the gun, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, stop destroying each other, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, let them stop worrying about respect, God, uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, and let them realize, oh God, uh, that a life is more important. Important God, uh, then respect right now. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, Lord Jesus, uh, let there be love, God, uh, among them, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, bind up the enemy, oh God, uh, in their lives, Father, their faulty thinking, God, uh, bind them right now, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let them see, oh God. That they need a change. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, give them a challenge, God. Uh, that they need to change. Uh, that they lie need to be different, God. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, they can't continue like this. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, they are dying too young, Jesus. Uh, they're going to prison too young, God. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, 
Holy Spirit of God. Uh, we pray for them right now, God, uh, that you turn their lives around, God. In the name of Jesus, uh, we pray, God, uh, for those that are behind bars right now uh, who are there for injustices, God. Uh, we pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, uh, that you will uproot, God, you overturn, God, uh, and you will expose, oh God, the wrongs uh, that was done against them, Father. In the name of Jesus, uh, we pray you will speak to the DAs, God. Uh, speak to the judges, Father, the attorneys, God, uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, Lord Jesus, uh, let them speak the truth, God. Uh, the truth shall make them free. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, ye shall know the truth, uh, and the truth will make you come forth. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray for them right now. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, police officers right now, God. Uh, they're not telling the truth, Jesus. Uh, Lord God, uh, expose them right now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord God, uh, you have the last word, Jesus. Uh, they can open up their mouth, God, uh, and tell the truth, God, uh, of what the deeds they have done, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every secret thing, God, uh, is coming to light, Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you are doing it right now, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Uh, you are doing things in the atmosphere, God. Uh, they may not understand it, Jesus, uh, but you're doing something right now. Uh, you're breaking up the folly ground right now. Uh, you're breaking up things that's not right right now. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, Lord God, you're destroying the plan uh, of the enemy right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, blessed be your holy name. Uh, thank you, God, for those who are walking in the hospital today, God. Uh, free of COVID-19, Jesus. Uh, and we pray, Jesus Christ, uh, that their lives, that their bodies, God, Lord God will not be infected with this virus, God. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, we pray for our leaders, God, in this country, God, and those around the world. We pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they, oh God, if they have not acknowledged you as Savior, Lord, that they, oh God, will speak, oh Lord God, what you say, uh, save their soul, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray for our brothers and sisters, God, uh, who claim, oh God, to know you, Jesus. Uh, we pray, oh God, uh, that they will speak the truth, Jesus, uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, and realize, God, uh, it's not about us, Jesus. Uh, Lord God, uh, it's about you using us, God, uh, to get the glory out of our lives. Get the glory, Jesus. Uh, you've got to get the glory, God. Uh, whatever we do, Jesus, uh, you got to get the glory out of it, Jesus. Uh, and we pray, oh God, uh, that you will touch, Father, each and every one of these in these seats, oh God. Uh, Lord God, who are making these laws, uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, all the way up to the Supreme Court, Jesus. Us. Uh, we pray you touch their minds right now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let them be fearing what they're doing, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, even the children, God, uh, if they got to go back to school, God, uh, we pray, oh God, uh, that you will cover the children, God, uh, cover the parents, Jesus, uh, cover the teachers, God, uh, cover the administrators, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, some states, God, uh, children are thinking they're thinking about going back to school, God. Uh, but Lord Jesus Christ, uh, cover them right now uh, from harm and danger, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, those in the hospital bed right now, uh, touch them, Father. In the name.
name of Jesus. Uh, those in the nursing home right now, God, uh, touch them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, blessed be your holy name. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy Spirit of God, uh, touch it right now, God. Uh, hallelujah. Even though the control room right now, uh, everybody that came on this chat room, the Zoom chat, uh, those on Facebook, God, YouTube, women, they are Jesus. Uh, touch them, God. Uh, provide for them, Jesus. Uh, remember their families, God. Uh, remember their children, Father. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, remember their mothers and fathers, God. Uh, Lord Jesus. Uh, whatever they need, God. Uh, touch their Father. Uh, if they need a healing right now, uh, touch their bodies, God. Uh, if they need deliverance right now, uh, deliverance, Jesus. Uh, if they need salvation, God. Uh, salvation, come, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, if they need a job right now, uh, open the door, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, if they need food right now, God, uh, provide for them, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, if they need shelter right now, uh, provide for them, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, meet their need, God. Uh, your word said uh, that you supply our needs uh, according to your riches and glory uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <coughs> Bless your name, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we bless your name, Jesus, hallelujah, we magnify your name, Jesus, you're doing it right now, God, and we thank you, Father, you're doing it right now, God, Holy Spirit of God, you're turning around, Jesus, and we thank you, Jesus, for the answered prayer, Thank you, Jesus, uh, for the miracles, God. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say thanks, God, name of the Father. Name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Holy is your name. Holy is your name, Jesus. Holy is your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God, we pray, oh God, for Dr. McKee right now. 
Hallelujah. She has the virus right now. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will touch her right now in the name of Jesus. Wherever she is right now, Jesus, we thank you for your healing power upon her life right now. Holy Spirit of God, she shall not die but live and proclaim your name in the atmosphere. We speak to her lungs right now, God, that she be breathing easy, Father, in the name of Jesus. By your stripes, God. God, she is healed, God. And we decree and declare, God, healing has come to her body in the name of Jesus. From the crown of the head, Lord, to the sole of her feet, we declare healing right now. And we thank you, God, that she's walking out of the hospital where she is, Jesus, walking in her healing right now. She is healed in the name of the Father, name of the Son, and name of the Holy Ghost. And we claim it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. We magnify the name of Jesus. I'm so grateful one more time to be here. Holy Spirit of God. I just want to share a quick word with you on how the Lord lead me to share with you this word. And the word we're talking about today is faith. Having faith in God to get to a level where faith has no sense. Holy Spirit of God, get to a level where your faith is ridiculous. Even if you don't have, if you don't, if you don't have, you start to have a little faith, even have that mustard seed faith, as it says in, in, in Matthew, Matthew uh, 21, 21 to 22, in spite of all, have that mustard seed faith. You got that faith, anything is possible. Just Stop a little bit, and as you keep increasing, things will get better for you. Holy Spirit of God, things you find things changing. You got to get to a level of faith to understand who God is and understand how God operates. God operates in your life through faith because we can't see God. Holy Spirit of God, but we feel him. Hallelujah. We, we believe that he's there. We believe when we come to Jesus Christ, we believe in our heart that we are saved. We believe that our lives are changed. Holy Spirit of God. Faith, as Hebrews 11 1 says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, Holy Spirit of God. So you are, you are believing God in, 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 a, in, a, in a spiritual realm. You believe in God in a supernatural realm. You don't see it yet, but you believe that is happening, Holy Spirit of God. You believe in the Lord for a job. You're believing him for things to change around you, and you got to do the necessary steps in order to get that job, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. You got to get a resume together. And you got to, to, to call some people, make some connections, uh, hallelujah. And the Lord will show you the job, because I'm telling you something, uh, when you have faith uh, and you believe in the word of God, uh, the, the job that you, when you walk up to that building uh, or wherever it is you got to go, or if you on the Zoom chat, wherever you got to do, to, to be, uh, wherever it is how they're doing it these days. Uh, understand if you believe in your heart uh, that you have received the job, uh, hallelujah, through faith, you have received the job uh, until it's manifested, hallelujah, in the natural realm. Uh, that's how faith uh, operates, uh, hallelujah. It's, it's It means reliance, hallelujah, loyalty, and complete trust in God, Holy Spirit of God, understand that with God, all things are possible. Nothing, 
Nothing is impossible with God. So if you believe the word of God and you stand on that word and you, you stand flat footed on that word and don't worry about nothing, no matter who's saying what and say, oh, you're not going to get this or you're not going to get that. To Holy Spirit of God, you, you just believe, don't worry about what anybody is saying. If, you, if you're seeking God for some un, unexpected finances, you're asking God, I need to pay this bill. Holy Spirit. Spirit of God. Lord will send it from the east, the west, the north, the south. You just got to believe on the word of God. It don't matter what's going on. If you declare in your heart and you decree in your spirit that Lord Jesus Christ, I am not losing, even I'm not losing my job. It don't matter what's going on in this atmosphere. It don't matter what, what's happening, how many people are losing their job. You're going continue keeping your job you just gotta speak that into the atmosphere you gotta have faith and believe that when the lord say a thing a decree a thing it is so in jesus name holy spirit of god and we in verse two it says by his elders they obtained a good report holy spirit of god these elders these people that 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 be from before they operate in faith holy spirit Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, they understood that the only real way to live for God is through faith. Uh, hallelujah. Many of us not getting breakthroughs uh, because we don't believe. Uh, we don't have that, that trust in the Lord uh, that something supernatural will happen. Uh, we we got to believe even now what's going on in our atmosphere. We still got to believe that there is change uh, coming forth. Uh, we still got to believe. Let me tell you something that we, we ain't going to come, some of us in court don't have the COVID-19 and we got to keep believing it and keep speaking it. Say, Lord, we're not catching that horrible virus. You got to keep believing that, that it's not going to come to your doorstep. You got to keep speaking that word over your life. You can't stop manifesting faith, okay? Faith uh, without works is dead. You gotta do something. You gotta speak it. You gotta you you gotta believe it and trust it that whatever. Because remember, you know, God's word it never tells a lie. It will go for and accomplish what it's set for to do. His promises are sure. Every promise that he put into this Bible, this book, uh, let me tell you something. When you read it and you believe it, uh, every time you turn around, you can read the same verse over and over again and get new revelation, uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, because in Lamentation 2 verse 23 says, it says, great is his faithfulness, his mercies are new every morning. Uh, so every morning you got a fresh word, something fresh come to your spirit. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, and we look at verse three says, through faith, we understand uh, that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Oh, uh oh. So that things that are seen were not made of things which do appear. Because somebody, I remember back in the time, they want to tell you uh, that the world came forth uh, through some osmos and cosmos and some kind of big bang theory and all kind of theories they come up with. Uh, but I know in Genesis chapter one, uh, he spoke it. Uh, hallelujah. And it said in the beginning was the word in John 1 verse 1 says the beginning was the word uh, and the word was with God. Uh, so the Jesus was there in the beginning. Uh, so the way I put it is uh, by faith, the word came forth. Uh, God spoke it. Uh, Jesus okayed it uh, and the Holy Ghost fashioned it. Uh, hallelujah. I don't understand uh, our people come up with all kind of theories uh, how the place came to be in. Uh, they don't believe, they don't know where God came from, uh, but some of the stuff we'll never understand. Uh, we just got to believe the word of God what it says, because uh, it's not going to twist us another way. It's not going to turn us into another direction. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, it's up to you to believe uh, what God is saying right now. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit 
Spirit of God. I'm going to skip around a little bit. Holy Spirit of God. Let's go to verse 6. It says without faith, it's impossible to please God. You can't please him unless you have faith. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, you got to believe that he exists, hallelujah. You got to believe, Holy Spirit of God, that he's there even though you don't see him. Holy Spirit of God, some people, they say, I don't believe in God. The people I talk to, I don't want to hear nothing about God because I don't believe he exists. But the funny things, they don't realize that because of God, because of his, of his mercies, that's why they get up every morning. Holy Spirit of God, they don't realize that he's given us chances to, to, to know him, get to know him in the fullness of his power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. And sometimes you got to ask them, well, can you see the wind? They say no. Well, they say, well, I can feel the wind. Well, the same way with God. You may not can't see him, but you can feel him in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. He controlled the wind. He controlled everything. He controlled the moon. He controlled the stars. He controlled the entire universe. He controlled the sun. He allowed everything to come forth in his time. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. So he said his reward of them that you seek him daily and you continue to look to him for everything. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, my life it was not exactly where it is right now. Uh, I came from brokenness to where I am today. Uh, and it's through faith why I am still standing. Uh, I should have been dead a long time ago. Uh, but through faith I am standing. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I could have been homeless. Uh, but through faith I am standing. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, sometimes I was in debt. Uh, so much debt I didn't know what to do. Uh, but I put my faith uh, and my trust in God. Uh, and he turned everything around uh, in my life. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, as I'm talking to you, I got to share this testimony. Holy Spirit of God, when I was on my former job as a teacher, I met a principal. She just came in. She didn't really know exactly everything what to do, but she was trying to exert herself and trying to show us that she is the big boss. Holy Spirit of God, I'm a veteran teacher. I've been in the system long and she she came in. She came in through some friends, didn't have a lot of experience, but because she felt that she was the leader, she could do whatever she want, but she don't realize my name is faith and she didn't realize uh, that i'm a woman of faith uh, and she decided to think uh, everybody was around and was afraid of her but i let her realize that i'm not afraid of you i'm not afraid of who you think you are holy spirit of god i will stand up to you i'm gonna stand up to the truth holy spirit of god and i challenged this woman she wanted to tell the lies on me trying to destroy all the things uh, that God put in forth for me. I came into teaching uh, called by God and the only time I leave teaching uh, is when the Lord says so, not when she decided to think that I was not good enough uh, to be a part of her system, uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, so that she decided to set me up, uh, Holy Spirit of God. She decided to show me uh, that she is the boss. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, but she don't realize that my faith in God is strong. She didn't realize that who she was messing with. She didn't realize that I'm a woman of prayer, Holy Spirit of God. She didn't realize that when you stay connected to Jesus Christ and you ask him for help, Holy Spirit of God, he'll come. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. So she decided she want to go for my job. She tried it one time and I came back. So she decided I'm going to go, I'm going to destroy this teacher right here. Holy Spirit of God. 
Bless the name of Jesus. So she set me up. Holy Spirit of God. Understand when the enemy try to use people to set you up. Holy Spirit of God. When you trust God. Holy Spirit of God. It's going to disappear. Holy Spirit of God. It may take some time. You may have to go through some things. But let me tell you something. At the end you will come forth. Holy Spirit. So this woman. Holy Spirit of God. She got the thing now to set me up and figure she's got me now. Holy Spirit. And then I saw what she was doing. I went home after I saw what happened and I saw what she was trying to put forth because everybody around her, she had gotten rid of some of my many teachers who were great experience. They got so scared. Some of them just left. Holy Spirit of God. But I let this woman know I'm not going to go till the Lord say when. Holy Spirit of God. Bless the name of Jesus. So when I realized what she was doing, I went home. Holy Spirit of God. I stood in my living room and I said, Jesus, Jesus. I call on the name of Jesus. I said, Jesus, I need help right now. Holy Spirit of God. I see the enemies trying to push me out of my job. Holy Spirit of God is using this woman to destroy what you put forth uh, in my in my life holy spirit of god uh, this woman is not going to take away my livelihood god because uh, it ain't time for me to go yet uh, and she ain't pushing me out like she pushed out everybody else uh, and i said lord i need help uh, holy spirit of god uh, and no sooner did the words come out my mouth uh, by the time I put the, I opened up, I said the last word. Uh, the next minute I know, uh, the phone rang. Oh my God. Uh, sometimes uh, it may not come when you want him. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, it may take some time other times, uh, but sometime he come in the nick of time. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, so here's what happened uh, when the phone rang uh, on the other end uh, was my was my former supervisor bless the name of Jesus uh, hallelujah hallelujah we are we're different schools uh, and she said to me I got an email saying uh, that I need to come to your school I'm assigned to your school for a, a, a since in January such a such a time holy spirit of god i said wow i said oh my god lord jesus you know how to answer prayer bless the name of jesus so she came it was that december when she called me because that's when everything was set up holy spirit of god she came in january of that year holy spirit of god i believe it's 2013 bless the name of jesus and when she came, they didn't realize that we knew each other. Holy Spirit of God. They had us come and she was in the same room with me. You see how God set things up. Holy Spirit of God. And when they realized we knew each other, they tried to take her out and put us someplace else. Now remember now, when God, something is for you, it's for you. And no matter how they try to put her here or put her there, she didn't fit her. Holy Spirit of God. So they had to put her back into my classroom. Bless the name of Jesus. They tried everything they could to destroy me. And this woman, she taught me everything I needed to do to get myself from out of the web of the lies they had me twisted in. Holy Spirit of God. So it was about three months later, after everything was over, after I satisfied all their requirements, next thing you know, no, uh, my supervisor, my former supervisor, she was gone. The job was done. Holy Spirit of God, what she came to do, uh, it was accomplished. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, and that principal didn't understand what happened. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, you got to understand uh, when you believe God, uh, when you trust God, hallelujah, he will come through for you. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, it don't 
matter who try to come against you, Holy Spirit of God, he will come forth in his timing, in the nick of time. He will rescue you from your adversaries. So even though people want to say things about you, that's not right. Holy Spirit of God, many of them telling lies on you and try to twist everything around. If you believe the word of God, if you would rely on the word of God and know that when you ask him, he said in Matthew 7, 7 to 8, he said, action shall be given unto him. He, you given unto you, we shall seek and you shall find. He said, knock and it shall be opened unto you, uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, and if you just keep on, uh, he said, keep on asking. Uh, don't give up, uh, Holy Spirit of God, because uh, everything that you desire will come to pass uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, if you're trying to, to, to get into school uh, and you don't think you have the know-how to do it. Uh, you ask the Lord to give you the knowledge. Uh, believe him enough to give you the knowledge. Uh, I'm telling you from experience, uh, I never thought uh, I would have been in school uh, to gain a whole bunch of degrees. Uh, I didn't think uh, that I had it in me, uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, but God said to me, uh, it don't matter what they say about you. Uh, when you go to school, I will give you the knowledge uh, in order to fulfill your requirements uh, and sure enough uh, I believed what he spoke to me and said uh, and everything is different now uh, praise the name of Jesus uh, you're looking at a living miracle you're looking at someone uh, walking by faith uh, oh lord and not by sight uh, hallelujah someone holy spirit of god uh, that no matter what it look like uh, kept on holding on uh, holy spirit of god uh, i got in all kind of car accidents uh, i got in all kind of accidents at work uh, holy spirit of god uh, they don't take a whole lot of finances from me uh, i got into to, to situation where i broke my arm uh, I broke parts of my body. Holy Spirit of God, it's by faith why I'm still standing, why I'm here right now. It's by faith why I can even walk. Holy Spirit of God, yes, I may feel a little pain here, I may feel a little pain there. Thank God for the doctors that helped to put me back together. Holy Spirit of God. Bless the name of Jesus, but it's because of my faith and because of many times the enemy tried to take me out, Holy Spirit of God, but with my faith, I keep standing, Holy Spirit. I didn't realize that God gave me this name, <laughs> hallelujah, gave my parents name to for me the main faith i had to learn to live by faith it wasn't an easy process but when i learned to live by faith the holy spirit of god everything i speak up my mouth hallelujah i believe it will take place in the name of jesus whatever i desire i speak it oh the spirit of god i desire something i name it and i claim it in the name of jesus and I said, Lord, it is time. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even the car I drive, Holy Spirit of God. It was through faith I got this car. Holy Spirit of God. It was through faith where I end up, I didn't have the finances to pay for it, but the Lord opened the door. Hallelujah. And I got it. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Every aspect of my life. Holy Spirit of God, everything I've earned, everything I have is through faith in my in Jesus Christ. Why may I have it? Why may I function the way I do? Holy Spirit of God, when I went through a toxic relationship, when I came out, they thought I would have been crazy. Holy Spirit of God, I could have lost my mind. 
God uh, in this relationship. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, but through faith, uh, through the grace of God, uh, I'm still standing. Uh, I didn't lose my mind. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, I didn't go crazy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word says, as you are, when you pray, you got to pray in faith. Uh, and believe hallelujah hallelujah bless the name of jesus hallelujah prayer is the key and your faith unlocks the door to possibilities in your life so whatever you desire you will have in the name of jesus bless the name of jesus we go to verse seven with 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 now a holy spirit of god now a holy spirit of god he was somebody Holy Spirit of God, uh, that they thought he was crazy. Hallelujah, it is time. Uh, at one point when God made man, uh, Holy Spirit of God, man was so disobedient. Uh, man was doing their own thing. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, and he and, and Noah believed the word of God. Uh, Noah, his life was in sync with the word of God. Uh, Noah's life was lined up with what God desired him to do. Uh, so the Lord told him to build the ark, uh, Holy Spirit of God, and bring everybody in there two by two. Uh, and as he was building this ark, uh, he told them that the, the world is going to be destroyed. Uh, and they didn't believe. They were just carried on the same way. Uh, but Noah, he believed God so much uh, that he, he made the ark uh, with all the different parts, different pieces that the Lord told them to do it. Uh, hallelujah. And at the end of the time when the earth was destroyed, uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, Noah and his family and the animals in the ark, uh, they were saved. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, because of his faith. Uh, yes, sometimes they were laughing at him. Uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, yo, go ahead, let them laugh. Uh, they were laughing at him and said he crazy. He need to have a little fun like everybody else. Uh, but understand this. Uh, Noah understood what was happening. Uh, Noah understood the God he served. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, his faith had no sense. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. He didn't worry. Who want to laugh at him and told me he was nuts. Holy Spirit of God. For building an ark for nothing going to happen. But no one knew better. He believed the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit of God. Bless the name of Jesus. And I look at verse 8. Holy Spirit of God. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, you want to read about Noah? It's in Genesis chapter 6, uh, verse 9 to 22. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, and we look, oh God, the one thing I special, man. Uh, Genesis chapter 12, uh, verse 1 to 2, uh, about Abraham. Uh, we look at verse 8. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. In Hebrews 11, it said, By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go to a place which he should not have to receive for an inheritance, obeyed. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit of God. Abraham, the Lord told him to, to, to get up and go. He didn't know where he was going. Oh, Jesus. In them times, they had no GPS. Holy Spirit of God. They had no map quest. They had no ways. They didn't have no uh, Google this and whatever. No Google map. They even had no piece of paper to tell you which way you're going. Holy Spirit of God. But Abraham, he didn't question God. He told Abraham to get up, uh, take your family and go. Holy Spirit of God. Abraham just got up uh, and he left uh, Holy Spirit, uh, Holy Spirit, uh, and he just went to uh, where the Lord told him to go. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, he just stepped out uh, and believed God for direction. Uh, hallelujah. You got to believe God for direction in your life. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, 
You can't do nothing, especially in this time, without Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You need him to wreck you. Hallelujah. Because some we're not sure about a lot of things. So some people, they're not sure. But the only way you'll get sure if you believe the Lord for the next direction where he desires to take you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, here we go to uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, talk about his wife. Uh, hallelujah. That's verse 11, Hebrews 11. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, he said in verse 11, uh, through faith also Sarah herself uh, received strength to conceive seed uh, and was delivered the child when she was past age uh, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, Ab Sarah's wife, Abra. Abraham, that, that's Abraham's wife, Sarah, she bore Isaac, hallelujah, Holy Spirit of God, who was part of the covenant. We are under, oh God, the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bless the name of Jesus. And if you want to study that, that's in Genesis chapter 18, 9 to 15. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. At one point, she did not believe that it would happen. Bless the name of Jesus. But we understand, as we said before, nothing with God is impossible. And God remembered her and it came to pass. Bless the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. And we go ahead. I'm going between the scriptures. Follow me. Hallelujah. In Genesis 22, when he had his son Isaac. Hallelujah. And Abram was tested, Holy Spirit of God, to see if he loved his son more than God. Sometimes God will bring you some challenges that you may not understand. But no, if you believe his word, he's not going to do more than he said he would. Holy Spirit of God. So uh, uh, Abraham, the Lord told him uh, to sacrifice his son, Isaac. Oh, hallelujah. He brought him up, oh God, to the place. Uh, oh, Lord. And, and Isaac said to him, uh, Lord, he said, Daddy, where is the sacrifice? Because all it was him was just him, uh, the father and the son. Uh, and Abraham said to him uh, that don't worry, the Lord will provide. Bless the name of Jesus. So he put his son on the, the, the log, tie him up ready to, to, to bring the ax down or whatever he had in his hand to come down on him. And next thing you know, just as about to do that, the Lord sent something for the sacrifice. Bless the name of Jesus. But you see how Abraham, he didn't worry about nothing. He said, my God, he will supply the sacrifice. And yes, he did. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. So understand that when you have faith in God, when you trust God, things will work out for you. Hallelujah. And some of these in verse 13, it said, some of them died in faith, not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that were strangers and pilgrims on this earth. So some of them did not go through fruition. Some some people, hallelujah, they operated by faith. They were able to see things in the supernatural, were not able to experience what would happen in their lives. They did not see the end, but they believed anyhow. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm going to go to Mark chapter 5, verse 35 to 42. Get a chance you read that. Where he healed Jesus, healed Jairus' daughter. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, the spirit of God is centurion. Hallelujah. And he said to him, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Just have faith. Your daughter just sleeping. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. And sure enough, she came forth. 
Bless the name of Jesus. I love to talk about this woman in Mark chapter 5, 25 to 34, the woman with the issue of blood. She pressed her way through the crowd to Jesus. Hallelujah. She already had a made up mind. Bless the name of Jesus. She said, if I just trust, touch his garment, I will be made whole. Hallelujah. And immediately when she touched his garment, Hallelujah, the blood dried up in her body. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Don't tell me, don't tell me anything. Nothing is impossible. Nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible with God. Don't tell me that whenever you desire something, if you believe it strong enough, it will come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. You have got to speak the word, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've got to speak it and believe it. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not only you got to speak the word, you got to pray the word. And when you pray the word, believe that when you, when you get up, when you walk away, what you desire from the Lord will come to pass. Uh, there are some people that are seeking the Lord for husbands. Uh, there, are, there are men that are seeking the Lord for wives. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, a, lot of what a, man, a lot of men don't realize, uh, the Bible says, uh, he that find a wife, find a good thing uh, and obtain favor from the Lord. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, if you desire a wife, uh, you got to have faith and believe uh, that it will happen in time. Uh, and if you desire a husband, uh, you got to put yourself together. You got to get yourself prepared. Uh, hallelujah. Prepare for your bridegroom. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, you got to believe uh, that everything you desire from God, it don't matter what it is. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, if you desire your children uh, to come to the full knowledge of Jesus Christ, uh, you got to believe that even if you don't see it right now, you got to continue believing, continue to praying that what you desire for your children will come to pass. If you have court cases and you praying in faith, believe that the court case is solved in the name of Jesus. If you're waiting on, uh, on, on funds to come forth from wherever it is and it's taking a long time you got to believe god that is coming forth you don't give up holy spirit of god when you have faith you can't have fear because faith and fear don't work together holy spirit of god because if you got fear and you got fear faith and fear comes in Faith got to go, because they can't work together. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit of God, because faith is believe. Holy Spirit of God, and fear is being afraid. Holy Spirit of God, when you have faith, you are not afraid. Hallelujah. You got faith, ain't got no sins. Faith is radical. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah hallelujah so don't you give up uh, whatever you desire don't you give up uh, and lord know all the stuff that's going on right now i gotta repeat myself uh, whatever is going on right now you can still make it through you can still make it through hallelujah you can still be an overcomer in the name of Jesus, blessed be your name. I pray for people who are dealing with cold cases. Oh, they don't know what happened to their family members, even how many years ago. But if you believe it strong enough that your case will be solved, no matter how long ago it happened, it will come to pass. Holy Spirit of God, it may not even come in your lifetime, but it will come anyhow. You just got to believe 
Holy Spirit of God. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but let me tell you something. You must stand on faith. You must believe the word of God because without faith, you can't do anything. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. When you get up every morning, you get up by faith. Hallelujah. When you walk out the door and you desire, you want to come back in, you do it by faith. When you're walking down the street, you're driving your car by faith. Everything we do is by faith. Because let me tell you something. Had it not been for the Lord on our side, had not been, hallelujah, for us believing in trust in God, anything could have happened to us, but we declare and decree that when I go outside, I said, Lord, when I go out, I'm coming back in, Holy Spirit of God, and I say to myself, Holy Spirit of God, and it says in Proverbs 18, 21, bless the name of Jesus, that there's life and death in the power of the tongue, Holy Spirit of God, so what you desire in your life it will come to pass. Hallelujah. I always say to myself, and I tell people this, people always say to me, sometimes they say to me, people keep saying your life is short. Don't let nobody tell you that. Hallelujah. I don't receive that when people say that. Hallelujah. I say to people all the time, guess what? Hallelujah. I'm going to live to a ripe old age. I'm going to live to be 120 years old. They look at me like I'm crazy. I said, a reason why I can say that, because the Bible says, as I said before, Proverbs 18, 21, life and death in the power of my tongue. So I say to them, anybody going to kill me? I'm not going to die in no car accidents because I've been in many accidents. I'm still standing. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Ain't nothing going to take me out. I'm going to die in no fire. None of this stuff. I'm going to die of a ripe old age. Holy Spirit of God. Oh, I'm not going to let nothing stop me. And I keep Believe in that. I keep speaking that. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm going to eat right. I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure I prolong the process. Because understand, you can't be asking God to give you longevity when you eat any old kind of thing. You eat all hours of the night, all hours you don't even think that you need to stop. Sometimes you're eating and you don't know it's time your stomach is saying enough is full, but you keep pushing it. Holy Spirit of God, you don't know at certain times in your life, you got to cut certain things out and you can't be eating all the greasy food and different things. So if you want to live a long time and to be healthy, you have got to cut off some of these things because if you desire, you're doing it by faith. So you desire to do things different. You got to do some things on your end to make sure that happens. Holy Spirit of God. And if you are smoking, that's going to lessen your life. Holy Spirit of God. And if you're alcoholic, you drink all the time. You always got your head up in the bottle. Holy Spirit of God. You don't take a glass of wine or something on a daily basis. Every minute you got a bottle and you're drinking and you drink the strong drink. You don't mix it with nothing. You got your little rum, your gin, your vodka, whatever you have, your alizé, whatever they call it. And you just drink straight to Holy Spirit of God. If you keep on doing that, then you're speaking, you're speaking death to your body. Holy Spirit of God, you have to help yourself. They you know your, your, your words, you're speaking your words, but you got to line up your body with what you're speaking. Hallelujah. If you're smoking, you got to stop smoking. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. If you're taking drugs, and we're talking about illegal drugs, we're not talking about the ones that a doctor prescribed. Even sometimes we can get over, we can go crazy on that. But you got to do that in moderation and go according to what is prescribed for you and don't go overboard. And those who are taking illegal drugs and you think you're going to get on a high for a minute. People are on cocaine, meth 
all kind of different drums. Holy Spirit of God, if you desire long life, you can't be having those recreational drums. Holy Spirit of God. And some people don't realize if you want to have long life, uh, Holy Spirit of God, you got to go to bed at night. Uh, you got to sleep. Uh, you need your eight hours sleep uh, so your body can rejuvenate itself. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, you can't be hanging out all hours of the night uh, every single day and thinking, uh, Holy Spirit of God, that you're going to have a long life. Come on now. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, we got to do some things to, to, to make sure this body, hallelujah, when we want to live long, hallelujah, we got to do some things to bring it together. Holy Spirit of God, we got to cut out our bad habits. Uh, hallelujah. Get some sleep. Hallelujah. Your body, the, the brain has to do the job in the body. So it needs time to work. Uh, hallelujah. Get rid of the toxins out of our body, the stuff we put in there for the whole day. It has to clean out and start afresh. That's why you get up in the morning, you got to go to the bathroom uh, because it's pushing out all the toxins. Uh, hallelujah. You don't want to keep those toxins in your body because those toxins can do things to hurt you as well. Holy Spirit of God. People don't realize sometimes the body can, 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 can kill you. Holy Spirit of God. The toxins can take over so much that it destroys your organs. Holy Spirit of God. So we're doing things through faith. Hallelujah. So if you want to live a long time and live, oh, you got to live according to what the Lord says. It is a clean vessel, a healthy vessel, healthy in the mind, healthy in the body, healthy in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, uh, so you can live a full life. Uh, you just got to operate uh, in what Jesus tells you to do. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. And don't you worry about nothing. Uh, praise the name of Jesus. You believe it enough, uh, it will come to pass. Uh, bless the name of Jesus and make sure that you don't harbor unforgiveness in your heart because uh, that can kill the body too. Bless the name of Jesus. The, the unforgiveness uh, can bring sicknesses to the body. Holy Spirit of God, uh, make sure your mind is clear. Hallelujah. You, you don't let stress, don't get yourself all stressed out. Uh, don't get angry and full of hate and all kind of different things. If Jesus is in you, uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, and you need deliverance for these things so you can live a long and healthy life, uh, it is possible. Remember I said, it, he said, nothing is impossible with God. In verse six of Hebrews said, nothing is impossible with God. And if you believe it long enough, uh, it will come to pass. Hallelujah. And James one, hallelujah. Let's go to James one, verse two to four. Bless the name of Jesus. James one, two to four says, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse, diverse temptation. Hallelujah, bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. For you know when your faith, hallelujah, for knowing this, that the trying of your faith work in patience. Hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus. But let patience have her perfect work uh, that we may be perfect in entire wanting nothing. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In another version it says, for you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Bless the name of Jesus. Let it grow. When the endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Praise the name of Jesus. Understand that when you flow in God and you develop your faith to the point where it makes no sense. Develop a, a, a level of radicalism that you know what, God, it don't matter. 
I'm, 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 I've gotten through this. Speak as if it already happened already. Speak like that. You know, I, I, I tell people all the time, don't say if I get the job or if I, 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 I get here or if I get there. No, say when I get the job. Speak the words. Change the way you speak. Speak with, 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 with authority because it gives you the authority. Speak with conviction. Don't, 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 don't waver. And, and no matter what anybody, nobody, nobody wants to believe you. Speak. You believe it enough, it will happen. And we go back to, to Hebrews 11, verse 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So understand. Live your life by faith. And don't you back down. Be strengthened in Jesus Christ today. Because let me tell you something. God is not finished with you yet. He's still got work for you to do. Holy Spirit of God. Bless the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. There is still work for you to accomplish. So don't get yourself all worked up with all kind of crazy things going around. Don't even let all this stuff to you. Don't stress yourself out with all these sicknesses that's going around here. Do what you got to do to make your body fresh and make your body clear so God can work in you and through you. Live by faith. You got to trust God, honey. Can't do it no other way. And God is telling you to, to leave a place and go over here. God is telling you, come out of that relationship you in with that man that you're not married to. Get out. Either you say to him, put it on the line and said, you know what? My life has changed now. I know Jesus Christ. So guess what? I'm not allowing you to use me anymore. I'm not allowing you to, to sleep with me and have sex with me without marriage. <clears throat> You're going to say, you know what? I choose me. And because I trust the Lord and I believe the word of God, I can live without you. If you're not mad enough to marry me, then goodbye. Because trust me, honey, God will take care of you. He did it for me. I had raised three children on my own. I had to leave the husband alone because he wasn't working out. And, and it was said that I would, my children not be anything great. And it said that because I left him, I would have been, I would have been messed up. But look at me today. And my children are, are, are well, they're well-rounded in their mindset. Okay, they they went to school, they all graduated. They wasn't part of no drugs and no alcohol and all the crazy stuff, the gang banging, they wasn't part of none of that. And I was a single parent. Okay, so don't, don't tell me that, that, that God can't do the impossible. Okay, I'm a living witness. <clears throat> I'm a living witness that it's, it's possible. And you just got to put all your confidence in the Lord. Not in yourself, not in your friends, not, not anybody telling you this and tell. Yes, the Lord will lead you. Ask God, you need some advice from, 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 from someone that you trust, the Lord will lead you. Ask the Lord to lead you. I mean, God, God wants to be part of every aspect of our life. He doesn't want to be just part of our lives. He wants to be in everything that we're doing. He wants to be all up in our business. And when you allow God to be all up in your business, everything is good, honey. He will tell you when you're wrong. because you, you, He'll teach you how to hear his voice. And, and how you learn to hear his voice is when you, when you study the word of God, not just read it, sit and study it, study it, spend some time in his presence, reading and getting into your spirit and memorize some scriptures. So when you, when you come up against certain situations and things, situations want to come against you, open your mouth and speak the word of God. You're speaking it through faith. Hallelujah. And you believe in what you're saying out of your mouth has come to pass. Bless the name of Jesus. And, and, and if you desire certain things from God, in Habakkuk 2, verse 2 to 4 says, write the vision, make it plain. Bless the name of Jesus. Let me go to that scripture for a minute. Hallelujah. 
Bless the name of Jesus. Habakkuk 2. I'm going I'm to read it to you. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Sometimes it's hard to find this scripture just like that. Habakkuk chapter 2. Bless the name of Jesus. Here we are. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm going to read it to you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Said the just shall live by faith. Okay, I'm going to verse 2 says, and I'm reading from the, from the New King James Version. Habakkuk 2 verse 2 begins, says, Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets, that it may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will truly come. It will not tarry. Behold the proud. His soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Hallelujah. So whatever you desire of the Lord, write it down. Make a list of things that you desire from the Lord. Make a list of, and when you go, into prayer, you thank the Lord that those, the, those things on the list are coming forth. That's how I got to where I'm at. I wrote a lot of things that I'm, some things on my list I'm still waiting for. The Lord has fulfilled a lot of things on my list. And he's going to, he's fulfilling some more and I'm waiting for him through faith. So you write your plan down, whatever you desire from the Lord and go on to pray. When you go on to prayer, thank him. Tell him who great, how great he is and just worship him for a minute. And go and, go and, and after that, you go in and pray and thank him and put your list before you and read off all what's on your list. And when you, when you come out and pray, you worship him again. Don't forget to worship him because he deserves all the glory and all the honor and the praise. And you give him all the glory and everything. Trust me, it will work it out for you. Everything will come together. The list may not happen all at one time, but little by little, it will come to pass. Bless the name of Jesus. So I'm letting you know today, I ask, I pray that that something I've said that will have touched your mind and touched your spirit. And I pray that your life will change. And I, I'm also encouraging you, if you don't know the Lord today, say yes to him. I want you to say the simple prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you. For my life, my health, my strength. I thank you, Jesus, for touching my heart today. Father, I open up my heart to receive you. Come into my heart and cleanse me and make me clean. Father, I want to live for you. Your son died. You love me so much that you sent your son to die that I can be free. And Lord Jesus, I thank you for the freedom today in you. And Lord, I surrender my life to you. And I thank you. Cleanse me. You're cleansing my heart right now. I thank you for cleansing my heart, Jesus. And making me clean. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. It is so in Jesus' name. Amen. You are saved. Praise the name of Jesus. God bless you so much. So glad to have you here on today. And um, I'm just so wonderfully blessed that, you know, the Lord used me and, and uh, to encourage you. And I pray that the word has been a blessing in your life. And uh, if you want to, you could connect to me on my on my Facebook page is Apostle Faith Walters or at the ministry page Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. Hallelujah. We also have a website which is wa-moe.org. And if you like to write to us, you can write to us at PO Box 2077 Mount Vernon, New York, 10551. We also have a prayer line, 
and it's on Mondays and Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. And that number is 978-990-5000. The access code is 329-073. Bless the name of Jesus. And if this ministry has been a blessing to you, bless the name of Jesus, you can, you can uh, send a donation as a law put on your heart. Hallelujah. We're also doing a building fund. We have some people who have blessed us in this building fund. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit of God. And we thank God for those who have um, come and, and, and come to the website of, of Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries and have donated to help with this building fund. We desire to have a fund for the ministry and to help the poor and help single mothers and people who have gone through divorce and separation. We also want to help the homeless people have a van outside of the uh, compound where three vans that they could uh, come and take a shower because I haven't seen a lot of the homeless people. I heard them say, <clears throat> if they could get a fresh shower every morning, they would be grateful for that. Bless the name of Jesus. So we wanna really help the community and to encourage a uh, uh, people you know, to know Jesus Christ and to, to love on Jesus Christ and know that the only real way to live is through Jesus Christ. And I want to encourage young men, prevent them from uh, going, thinking, you know, the gangs is where they need to be or because a lot of the you gang situation end up in prison. And I worked in prison for two years in the, in the, in the high school, it, it was ages uh, seven years old to 17 years old, the juvenile, and it was not very nice. And I'm telling you, uh, it was not a good place to be. And if I can make a difference to help a young man or young woman uh, not to go into that horrible place. And, and uh, uh, um, the ministry also, we want to have a school, a cooking school to teach uh, young boys and young girls how to cook because that's very important. Uh, you know, a lot of times you people think because you think just lying on your back, that's now, and you can't just lie, you, you know, you, it's not just lying on your back or or, 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 or uh, um, just having sex all the time. You gotta know how to cook too. You know, a lot of these females don't know how to cook. Some of these children, uh, when I taught in the school system for over 20, 20 years, some of them come to school, they were malnourished, they didn't get decent food. And some of them live on uh, Chinese food and all kinds of different things. Uh, so we gotta teach these young girls and young boys how to cook, not just for girls alone, cause we want just to domesticate boys as well. Cause sometimes these boys gotta leave their home and go live on their own, become men. You can't be a man living up in a mama house and your daddy house. You gotta go out there. It don't matter how hard things are. If you trust the Lord enough, God will make anything possible. I, I tell you all the time, God will make it all possible. Bless the name of Jesus. You just got to trust and know how to save your money, know how to get your little self a little job and don't be spending your money and all kind of crazy stuff, buying sneakers and buying nonsense that has no value. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm just flowing the spirit and, 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 and just... You know, you got to understand there's more to life, you know, than just having material things because after a while, those things die out, okay? But when you are well-rounded as a man and as a woman, a young man and young woman moving forward, got your head on right, you know, you go to school, you better yourself. It's not just going out and making easy money because easy money gets you into trouble. If it's too easy, something ain't right. But if, it, if it's hard, you take your time, you go through your sweat and your brow to, to do it. Yes, it's maybe hard work, but in the end, hard work pays off. So uh, our school is to have uh, some plumbing because a lot of times they got rid of the, the blue collar work where the plumbing, that's where people was making money. People always got houses. They go over there the plumber. They go over there the locksmith. They're going to need an electrician. They're going to need somebody to fix the steps. So you're going to need somebody to, 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 to do some kind of construction work. So, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, you know, part of what I'm doing is to vocational training center to teach young men how to better themselves and not to get themselves caught up in, in foolishness and, and, and also teach the women, you know, young girls, you know, and, and of course the boys can join in how to cook. It's very important, very important how to cook and so you can so you don't learn how to cook so you don't starve 
Holy Spirit, you, I keep spending money. You don't have to go out there and, and buying greasy food and destroying your body and your children. Children come to school. They're so malnourished because the, the parents pack them up with so much junk, a lot of junky food, a lot of salty food. They eat so much chips and sodas and they come, their breakfast is a Coke, a Coke. They don't even bring a roll, a bottle of roll. They bring Coke. They bring Coke and they bring Coke for breakfast and Coke for lunch. Holy Spirit of God. And they have a whole bag of candy or their bag of chips. And that's their breakfast. And then you wonder why their brain can't function. You got to teach. You got to, you know, as mothers, we got to learn how to cook some food, some real food. Go get some chicken at the store. Season it up with your, with your salt and pepper and let it marinate for overnight and, and give and cook it. Put it in the oven. If you don't want to put it on a stove, use your own oil. Stop using the vegetable oil. All the spirit of God, it ain't good for your stomach. That will clog up your arteries. Bless the name of Jesus. Get some olive oil, some avocado oil, some grapeseed oil, and use that to, to nourish your body. Uh, some of them use canola oil. Holy Spirit of God, that vegetable oil is no good. And, and you got to learn to, 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 you know, eat good food so you can live long. Now you end up with all these sicknesses and di 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 diabetes and hypertension, all this stuff, because you're packing your body with all kinds of things and too much salt intake, all them chips and dips and, you know, all that stuff got salt, you know, we got to be so the French fries and, you know, and all the salt and the sugar you drink, you got to cut all that stuff out for things to change in your life. Holy Spirit of God. So we just thankful today that we, we are our vision for that, for that school. That's where we are. And, and also I'm believing God. Now look, look how, look how people may think I'm crazy. Yes, but that's okay. Now this is where my faith is at too. I asked God just uh, just a few months ago. I said, asking God, I said, Lord, I need a private jet for this ministry because I got to travel around the world. I ain't got time set up there waiting for no commercial airline, no domestic airline to get where I got to go. And I said, Lord, that's how um, that's how crazy I am. Faith ain't got no sense, honey. I said, Lord, I believe you for a private jet, and I believe God for the pilot. And the amenities that go with it, because we're going to carry some food to different places, different countries, hold the spirit of God, and we're going to spread the word. Hallelujah. We're going to tell people that Jesus saves. I'm going to share my testimony. Hallelujah. So that's how radical my faith is. Holy Spirit of God. So you see, oh, my, my name ain't faith just to be named faith now. I really ain't got no sense when they come out to believe in what God, believe in the word of God and what I desire for him to do in my life. So um, you can send your donations. Hallelujah. Welcome your donations. And we pray that God will bless it and multiply it. Hold the spirit of God. And it will come back to you double fold. Praise the name of Jesus. You can send it to Cash App with a dollar sign. Outreach 22. Bless the name of Jesus. <clears throat> we also have PayPal. Hallelujah. PayPal.me slash YMO W-A-M-O-E. Bless the name of Jesus. You could hit the donate button again at the church website, wa-moe.org. Bless the name of Jesus. And uh, we have our Zoom services on Wednesdays at two o'clock. Praise the name of Jesus. Instead of we change the time. And uh, ministry, I, the meeting ID is 822-9466-8590. And the password is one eight four. Five, four, eight. And if you want to call the church, we also deal with counseling as well. If you have some issues you want to talk to uh, 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 me about, you contact the church at 914-699-2482. I flow in the spirit and what we say is confidential. I also operate in the prophetic even when I'm counseling. Bless the name of Jesus and the Holy Spirit of God. We, we start you out with a, a genogram to let you understand where you are and what we could do moving forward. So, uh, and I just pray if you desire to speak to someone, I'm here, bless the name, you could schedule it at the website, bless the name of Jesus and let the Lord, uh, you know, use me to minister to you and to help you 
through whatever situation you're facing. <clears throat> and I'm so thankful to you on today. And God bless you. And I, I'm just grateful, you know, that I was here to share with you. And I pray that something uh, I've said have really touched your life. So continue to hold on to Jesus. Continue to, to uh, lift up your faith in him and continue to trust God for everything you desire in your life. And know that I love you and Jesus loves you too. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I'm gonna make up a song right now for the, for the things we talk about, hallelujah. I'm almost just the spirit gave me a song. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So stand on your faith and believe in his word that whatever he says. It will come to fruition. Believe the word of God. Stand on his word. Live in his word. For the judge shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Hold on, my brother. Hold on, my sister. Trust the Lord. Rely on his word. Understand. That nothing is impossible. Just believe. 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 And you shall receive. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We magnify the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. Be strengthened today in him. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Have a great evening. Goodbye. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Magnify your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Bless your name, Jesus.